I was like kind of like being groomed by like an older guy. So like he kind of like leaked it to everyone, I guess. Did they also ask you to join their throuple? So your TikTok, your pronouns are she, her, fridge. I didn't think we were going to talk about this. Wow, this actually makes me really emotional. I think when I was a kid, my parents were so like against anything feminine, like anything gay. So I like kind of just like didn't think about it. But like obviously like all the signs were there. Can you not like support Jeffree Star because he's like controversial? Girl, f- that break. Let's get into it. This week, I've been eating some of the best meals I've had in a long time. Plus, they're ready in just two minutes and are delicious. You have the choice to select from over 34 chef-prepared, dietitian-approved meals with veggie, vegan, keto-friendly, and many more options. They also have snacks and smoothies to try out as well. Lately, I've been obsessed with their strawberry and banana smoothie. They've also got other flavors like tropical fruit and mango. Like their meals, their snacks and smoothies are fresh and shipped straight to you. Head to factormeals.com slash sloan50 to use code sloan50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code sloan50 at factormeals.com slash sloan50 to get 50% off your first box. Welcome back to the Let's Get Into It podcast hosted by me, Sloan. And today we are joined by a very special guest, Athena, who has over a million followers on TikTok and you're growing quickly all over social media. On OnlyFans specifically. Oh, on yeah, OnlyFans too, yeah. I'm just kidding. How are you doing? Well, you're like there's, there's <laughs> struggling, alcohol in my hand. So struggling like to get here. Yeah, <laughs> we're having a little bit of wine and just going to talk a little bit about where Athena has come from. And like, I mean, I feel like one day you just popped up on my explore page. Then I saw you at beaches and I'm like, she's in town now. <laughs> I saw you at beaches. That is so real. You're so real for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. to give some context, Athena creates content on TikTok, which is like kind of comedic and beauty related. Um, sometimes you do like tutorials or reviews. Sometimes they're skits. How did you start creating content? I started like in oh, fuck, like 2016, 2017. I started oh. doing like YouTube makeup tutorials. And they didn't really do good. Like, I'd, I think I got, like, up to, like, 500 subscribers on yeah. YouTube. So I kind of gave up a little bit. And out of nowhere, I made this, like, uh, makeup skit, like, about, like, Sephora and, like, Mac and how all, like, the people are somebody. Like, I posted it on Instagram and I only had, like, a 1,000 followers. And mm-hmm. I was like, I'm not, I didn't make it to be, like, fierce or anything. But somebody told me to post it on TikTok. And I was so anti-TikTok because, like, everybody's like, TikTok is a new Vine. And I was like, no. Did, yeah. did you have Vine? Uh, I did have Vine, but, like, I had traumatic experiences on Vine. Oh, I had someone, like, film me, like, them having sex with me and putting it on Vine. And I was, like, a minor. Isn't that, like, every time I hear the word Vine, I think about that. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. No, I know. <laughs> to trigger you. I'm, like, triggered now. No, oh, so then God, you were, like, anti-TikTok. So what is this, like, 2019 when you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so sorry. We're, like, getting into it. <laughs> Damn, that's fierce. But, um... Thank you, Vine. Oh, yeah. So I didn't want to, like, do TikTok. And then eventually I was, like, fine, I'll post the video and it, like... I think got like 70k views in that night. So I was like, oh, um, and I've never looked back since. So. so at that point, you were probably working at Sephora, right? I had just gotten fired from <laughs> you Sephora. You just had gotten fired. So I was thinking that you like popped off on social media and you're like, bye girls. But no, they yeah. fired you. Why did they fire you? Um, Well, I got fired because it was so stupid. My manager was a fucking <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, sure. You're like, well, no, but I'm like, I'm going to say it anyway. No, um, but um, he just, I feel like didn't like me towards the end. And I got fired for a behavioral issue, which was. Because I kept forgetting to lock my locker, which was a behavior issue. He just wanted to get rid of me. He's like, let's get rid of the doll. Yeah. But we had three different cameras in the break room. So, like, if it was such a big issue, like, it wasn't. Like, you weren't, like, anticipating any of your, like, coworkers stealing from you. So, like, yeah, no. why and even if they did, serious? like, if they needed it, girl, like, if you need $3 yeah. dollars in my bag. <laughs> then take it. Yeah. How long were you at Sephora for? Like, a little bit. Like, a year and a month or two. It's, like, my longest job I've ever had. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah. Well, hopefully this one lasts longer than that. <laughs> So, <laughs> so when you were like working at Sephora, were you that also making content like while you're on the job or like as like a, like, you know, an employee there? Kind of. I would do like YouTube videos. Like I'd like, they would give us a shit ton of free makeup and skincare. So I would do like little hauls. Yeah. So I would do that while I worked And there. your YouTube was just like giving nothing. Like did yeah, you Yeah, I was giving it? nothing, but like, I was, I would, and they were like long, like hour long videos that I would edit down to 20 minutes. Wow. And now I can't do that anymore. Oh, like, I mean, I can't even imagine doing that. Like yeah. that sounds horrible. And I used to do it for like free and I'm like, girl, like. So go back and watch my old YouTube videos. There. Yeah. Oh, they're out there. I, I privated a lot of them. Oh, yeah. Well, I privated we'll all my so. Jeffree Star reviews. <laughs> like, oh yeah. When you start getting some attention. Wait. See so why you can't? Can you not like support Jeffree Star because he's like controversial? Well, he has me. That f- has me blocked on. He does. He blocked why? me on TikTok because I called him desperate. Which like Girl. in a way, I mean, it, 
He came back when the whole Michaela thing happened and he was like, people used to trust my opinion back in the day. And now they like, girl, like shut the fuck up. Just make videos. But I personally used to be a really big fan and I have a lot of his makeup, but yeah. I'll never show it on like camera. <laughs> well, I'm sure if, um, even if like you met in real life, it would be like nothing, you know, it's just that stupid like social media. Like, I mean, the beauty community kind of already has that, like that push within it to like create feuds or to have issues between people. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if like, you know, Jeffrey probably like jumped to conclusions with that, but yeah. it was kind of desperate when he came back. It was like, are you launching an album? Like what is yeah, happening? It's scary. I feel like he only comes back when he's going to launch makeup. Like he only has like, he's in like a scandal when he's going to launch like makeup. <laughs> yeah. A new collection. Yeah. So you used to work at Sephora, like selling these brands and now you're on TikTok and you are, I'm assuming you're like partnering and doing brand deals. Yeah. And how has that experience been for you? It's low key kind of crazy. Cause it all just, so I did comedy for like three years, like straight up. I just did skits. And I would throw in like little makeup tidbits like every here and there. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't until like the month before I moved to L.A. I talked to my old management and I was like, how am I going to be able to afford rent in L.A.? Like, what do I do? And they're like, bitch, like do makeup tutorials because like everybody had been asking me forever, but they wouldn't really do that good. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, fine. I was like so stressed because I was moving. I found out I was moving in a month and I did this like get ready with me and like that one like blew the fuck up. So, yeah. So yeah. have you had like a good experience with like brand deals? Like, are they paying you right yeah, now? Yeah, they're paying me. They're, I have like the best team ever. Like they manage Manny as well. Yeah. They're like the best. Like they're, my old team was really cool as well, but this one is just like more experienced and mm -hmm. like they already have all these like relationships with like the brand. So it's like super easy to get deals. It's just fierce. Yeah. Well, you've kind of reached that level too, where like I was looking at your TikToks and like, you know, someone can have a lot of followers on TikTok, but like not all of their videos do well, but like mm -hmm. consistently like your videos do well. It's not like TikTok's paying you, right? It's mostly the brand deals. Yeah. TikTok pays like their creator fund is so stupid. Oh, I mean, I've made like, I think I've made like $6 off of it. Like my entire like TikTok career. And I don't like create original content yeah. on TikTok, but it sucks. I mean, I think when you go live, you get like a lot more, right? That's how I used to make my money originally. When I first started was I would be like, okay, bitches send me coins. Yeah. But now I get on and I'm like, Oh, that's like the Terry Joe route. I only get on well, people just send him money. Like he doesn't even <laughs> really? have to ask. They send him, they send him money boots. So. Yeah. I mean, well, he's getting so many viewers too. I have you met him and you, uh, you yeah. have met him. Yeah. I've right? met Keelan. He's so, <laughs> what was, what happened when we met, and we were outside of like I think Revolver or like Mickey's or something, and like somebody that one like person started like screaming at you. Oh you my remember? gosh, he's crazy. He well, is because he, he didn't crazy. say anything. Have you met him before? Or, like, yeah, he's him? friends with like. Yeah, I know. I mean, well, they both like doxed Mary, and like, there's just a lot of drama there. Where like I used to be friends with Mary, who's like known for having the gigantic boobies, mm -hmm. and then they like popped, and I guess like they're not anymore. Anyways, like he, I don't. It was so bizarre because he's got some weird obsession with her, and like me and her were like friends, like we hung out, but mm -hmm. like I never really like. I don't know. I never made any public posts. And anyways, that was really dramatic. I thought you were going to bring up something else because I did do something else in front of Revolver, which I think is like so embarrassing. But because you're what did you with, do um, in front of Revolver? You know, you're friends with that Leo guy. Uh huh. And he's like literally my biggest crush. He's <laughs> the best. I know everyone like he's everyone's biggest crush. But well, I definitely like confessed my love to him like outside of Revolver. And then like two weeks later, I saw a TikTok go viral. where He was like. Oh, if a guy comes up to me, it's like an automatic, like scared of them. And I was like, oh my gosh. He is so me. like, fun. he's like, like, I don't know how to explain him. He's definitely one of my favorite people ever. We get like the f instant we met, like we just got along so well. Yeah. He has like my sense of humor, but he's like, when it comes to dating, he's like very, I don't know. I don't even know how to explain. Him. I mean, I've never even seen him date, so I don't know. So you moved to LA. You you just said like a second ago that like, oh, you had to move to LA or like it was, was it kind of abrupt? Like what? caused you to move down here um well i had been wanting to move here for like ever because i had come to visit like two or three times mm -hmm. and i always knew like because back in oregon there's like literally nothing to do but like suck dick and like do meth <laughs> behind a 7-eleven yeah so <laughs> you're like yeah. yeah um well portlandia yeah you know. period but so i was like i just need to go because everything is going on here mm -hmm. like brand wise and people always say it's like the, the place of opportunities and it really is yeah so you're enjoying it so far yeah, at first I was kind of like depressed because I missed my family and my friends, but I went to go visit back in Oregon a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh, this is why I left. I hate you fucking bitches. <laughs> yeah, you're like, get me out of here. Yeah. Like, in hindsight, you're probably like thinking of like, oh, the good times, and then you go back, and you're like, oh, get me back to LA. Like, yeah, literally. Well, you need to get out of the, wherever you are right now, where you come to Inglewood. Yeah, <laughs> I'm moving next month, so I'll be out of there. Yeah. I just had to move here because my friend had a, uh, I was supposed to move with one of my other friends who does like OnlyFans to mm -hmm. LA, but he like never got out here. And then my friend's like, we have a room. So I was like, you know what? I don't give a shit. I'll just, just take it. Like, yeah. just to get down here. Immediately. I mean, most people move here and they don't, like, live in the ideal spot initially because, like, LA is so huge that you don't it's really huge. realize. Like, you really it's just want to be in, like, West Hollywood or, like, 
Beverly yeah. Hills, Studio City, maybe. Wait, are you? Where do you live? Are you in WeHo? Yeah, WeHo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll oh, go yeah. there after. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did you like you mentioned also that you worked at Sephora for like the longest time? Like, did you have any other like jobs? Um, I worked at a movie theater mm. for like four months and then I quit. I like emailed the girl. I was like, I can't come in. I'm gonna kill myself. I'm just being dramatic. Yeah. And she's like, okay, get somebody to cover your shift. And then I worked at TJ Maxx. Oh, Max and Nista. Um, that shit was so stupid. I hate working when like the man or like the managers are old gay people because they're so bitter towards like younger, yeah, fierce really. divas. Well, I I grew up in like the country, so I was like the only gay person there. So I didn't wait where uh, in Virginia, Virginia. I mean, it does. It's not that country. There's way like you know way worse, but it was there was definitely no other gay people. Wait, really? Oh uh, yeah. Not well, really. until you got on Grinder or Sniffies. Huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. I mean, I also came out at fourteen, so I was like, you came out at fourteen? Show. Yeah, like so young. Right. What what made you want to like come out that early? Were you I was like, like kind of like being groomed by like an older guy. So like he kind of like leaked it to everyone, I guess. Like leaked it. Like I'm like some relevance, it. but like <laughs> but back then like it was everyone was talking about it because I was like like a kid, you know. That is so, crazy. I'm so sorry. I know. Are well, you okay? I, yeah, I know I'm okay. But also like doing a lot of like the work I do now and like realizing like you know talking about grooming and like these terrible stories on YouTube. It's like oh I sort of realized like I think like you know I had like a few guys who definitely like preyed on me. When I was younger, especially being in the middle of nowhere where there's no gays, I guess they go for yeah, anything. That's crazy. Right? So you lived in Portland, um, Oregon, right? Or it, a town near? Yeah, Tualatin. What was it like like growing up there? Oh, my God. I have to burp, and it's going to smell like wine <laughs> and poppers. So I'm so <laughs> well, sorry. Well, you're a good distance away. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is there to do there? There's, like, nothing, really. Do you like but, it or no, like, growing up? It was cool. It was definitely very – I live in Tualatin, so it was very, very safe. Mm-hmm. Um. Like, nothing ever really happened there. The second I moved, there's, like, a serial killer there now. Really? No, I'm not joking. He's killed, like, six girls Have in the same area. Have they found him? Or no? No. No. Yeah. I keep texting all my friends, like, stop going to the beach alone. Like, they're yeah. so stupid. Oh, it's, like, a beach thing? I don't... It's just, killer. like, in the... Yeah, probably. Hopefully. <laughs> Is honestly. Portland near, like, the water? I don't even know We're, like, an at. hour away from, like, seaside. Like, like an hour or two from, like, the beach. So, mm-hmm. it's... They have, they have this like big lake there called Savi's. It's so disgusting. But yeah, people go there all the time. Do you talk to any of your friends from like back home or like high school or anyone you like grew up with still? Yeah, all the time. When am I? Um, I'm still like really close to like the friend group I had when I was like in high school, middle school. Mm-hmm. So like I talk to them like every day. Do you know like like so? These are two of my best friends <laughs> here in LA. Do you know? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did they also ask you to join their throuple? No, they did not ask me to join their throuple. I probably should. Well, have they're said they're no I longer. Probably should have no, said you that. can tell the tea. I mean, I'm like really close to them. Like so, um, but they uh, no, they're not together anymore. Anyways, yeah, they live like right around the street. They do. Yeah. Wait, do they? I know. I remember the first time I ever came to LA. The first time I ever did poppers was at his house. Oh, he really? was the first person to give me poppers. Yeah. Yeah, I was just there this weekend. Oh my god, I love him. I saw him in. I saw him at the Abbey a couple of days ago, like last weekend. Yeah. And he was like, Athena. And I just like walked away because I assumed he was going to follow me. Oh, And no. I turned around and he's gone. So I probably think he thinks like I'm like a bitch now. But yeah. I, I think love that, him. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Um, so living. Like that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so like you, you're not like moving back to your like hometown. Anytime oh, absolutely soon, not. Right? At first I was like, you know what? I don't like it here. I'm going to move back. But obviously when I went to go visit, I'm like, no, I'm not moving back. There's nothing yeah. in Oregon. And it seems like you're doing well. Like, I feel like a lot of the times people move out, move out to L.A. with a dream and stuff. But um, you're kind of like you're financially like doing well. Like you're not like, you know, going to have to run back to your mom and dad's because you, you know, <laughs> wait, They're like, no, no yeah. she's a shoddy baby. You know, shoddy baby's spending everything. She's uh-huh. I don't know. Getting she is so funny. I, I think I love her. I'm obsessed she's, with She's her. like blowing up. She's great. She's I was like watching the live stream when she was at the mall and like all those people were there, like thousands of people like trying to meet her. I wonder what I need to see. Like she needs her own reality TV show because I feel like her input is just so funny. Like her little catchphrases Mm -hmm. and stuff are so funny. I wonder how long it would have to be like probably like four episodes because there's only like five things that she says. Her attention span is so short. When she's just like, anyways, like from this point of view. There's I saw her live the other day and she was like getting her hair done and she was like passed out. And it had like 40k views. I was like, oh my god. The amount of makeup and hair she's doing, she's doing more than the housewives are at this point. I'm like, girl, like, why does she need to spend hours doing her hair? Like, she's exhausted. She doesn't even like it. Yeah, no. Have you met her? No, have you? No. I've met a lot of her friends, but I haven't met her yet. I would love to meet her, but I don't. I Let's feel get like, her on the, Shadi Bay. If you're watching, we need you on this podcast. I would love to have her on. She just sees this. She's like, anyways. <laughs> we, yeah, anyways, from this point of view. Well, also, I feel like I've heard things about her parents, like trying to take over her life. So maybe she'll be in like a conservatorship or something. Like that would be terrible. She's the next Britney. No, seriously. Free Shadi I mean, Bay. Free Shadi Bay. Who are following? Where, where's around, the camera? Free Shadi Bay. <laughs> the amount of people who are following around it's giving Britney like 2006. Like, yeah. girl. Who like determines who's famous nowadays? I feel like everybody's famous nowadays. Do, oh, you, do people come up to you and we hope being like, oh my god? Like, I mean, yeah, people come up to me like 
you know, with the like YouTube you things. calling out Paris Hilton saved my life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're like your videos. I was the other day, I was like having such a rough night and I was like crying, like sobbing on the side of the road in WeHo, just like, you know, just my girl, normal, are you okay? My normal weekend. No, yeah. <laughs> so just a normal weekend. And then someone came out to me and she's like, you're doing such amazing work. Like, I love what you're doing on the internet. And I was like, I'm miserable. Like, I hate my life. Oh my God, why? But that was like, actually, because I was fighting with this, because I've been like dating a bunch of different guys since my breakup, because I was mm. dating this guy and then he cheated on me. So since then, I've been dating a bunch of guys. And that guy I, like argued with because like he wouldn't have sex with me and I like want to have sex with him. And anyways, he's taking me to Ve- Vegas this weekend, so he's like making up for the fight. So are you guys gonna hook up in Vegas? Well, think? he said he would. So we'll see. why didn't he want to hook up? I don't know because I'm used to going on dates and then we oh do it God, like the first he, night. Do you think he has like a small dick? I'm, that's what I was telling my friend. Is like he's either weird because Cause he I think people watching are gonna be like, what, what do you mean? Like he doesn't want to hook up? Like no, why? it's weird because like you don't understand. Gay people are so sexual. So like well, if he doesn't want to, he's hook also up, different though. He comes from like he's he listens to Avril Lavigne. Very. He said he's, he's like, different. He wasn't to Avril Lavigne. No, very, yeah. <laughs> he, very nerdy. Avril oh, Lavigne, okay. girl. No, not my type. That's the one thing. If I walk into a room to hook up with a guy and he has like a Lady Gaga poster or something on the wall or You're anything, out. oh, immediately walking out. Oh, if you are a stan of any pop girly, then like we're we're not a match. You I know? was actually going to ask you like, who do you stand? You don't stand anybody. Oh, no, I mean, I would say Lana Del Rey Bay. in the weekend. Oh. The Shotty <laughs> Her new album <laughs> coming out soon. Oh my god. Anyways. Wait, do you wait? So you're a Lana Del Rey fan? I love Lana Del Rey. Oh, okay, that explains a lot. I'm like hopeless like, romantic type. Okay, yeah, a I'm lot sorry. of Lana Del Rey fans are like depressed, like severely, severely depressed. So living in Oregon, like, were they accepting of you? Well, okay, uh, first off, so your TikTok, your pronouns are she, her, fridge. So I'm assuming <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna talk about this. Well, <laughs> well, this actually makes me really emotional. Oh, your transition. What? You're, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what transition? My D transition, actually. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Okay, so Blair White moment. Um, <laughs> whatever we all know um so when when did you come out or like realize okay, first when did you realize you were like trans literally while we were having this conversation <laughs> yeah just no. like a few, five minutes ago um like think, young or like kind of like teens or i like, think when i was a kid my parents were so like against anything feminine like anything gay so i like kind of really? just like didn't think about it but like obviously like all the signs were there like but it wasn't until like seeing like nikita dragon and like Gigi gorgeous wow. and like unfortunately do, do you not like her? I girl mean, she's been nice girl, to me. Girl, fuck that brick. Like, she's, she's, she's actually really fucking funny. Well, so you came out as trans, like, in the middle of nowhere in Oregon, low-key. How was that? <laughs> were people, like, accepting? Did you get, like... Yeah, like, they were pretty cool. Because I was already, like, kind of cross-dressing when I was, like, in high school. I'd wear, like, these long-ass shirts to school. And, like, yeah. the security guards would chase me. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I feel like everybody was pretty cool. I didn't really get that much backlash. Because Oregon, I feel like Portland is pretty liberal. Yeah. So it's not like crazy. I feel like other people have had like worse experiences. So your parents were probably less accepting than like the rest of everyone else. So. Yeah. When I came out as gay, I came out as gay first because everybody's like, you're a fucking. F-, which yeah. You're like, you're yes, man. that's how I knew I was. I'm like, everyone <laughs> kept telling me. So I guess I am I'm like, let me no, Google. Literally. Um, and then my parents were like, what? They, they, they acted like they didn't knew or they didn't. Oh, my God. They didn't. Knew, it's the wine. They didn't know. Yeah. They, they acted like they didn't know. <laughs> um, and so like they were finally starting to get around to the idea and then once they were finally fine with it like two years in I came out as trans and, and how like, old were you like then I think like 19 18 oh, okay yeah. so like 2017 so at that point you had like already graduated high school when you came out as trans thank but, god yeah but like essentially probably people like knew that you were like headed that way anyways because yeah. you were a lot of friends were like oh we knew yeah so how did you like what were your first steps for like starting that process like did you go on like hormone blockers or like I'm hormone? literally not on hormones yet Oh, you haven't. Wow. I'm just so lazy. I feel like going to the hospital is so scary. Yeah. The last time I went to the hospital was because I was filming this TikTok and I was trying to fall out on the stairs. I love doing, I used to love doing my own stunts. Yeah. And I fell on the stairs and cracked like my head open. So I had to go to like the hospital. But oh, you used to do your own stunts. So now you've got a stunt woman. No, I don't do skits anymore. <laughs> a, body which is so sad. a body double. A body double. Shoddy Bay is my body double. Yeah. 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 I, the last podcast I did with Eric, I was watching it back and I was like, oh my God, we're literally twins. Me and Shoddy Bay. Yeah. I look like her. Or she looks you, like You me. say more, though, because she's literally, like, I'm watching the lives. I'm, like, falling asleep to them. I'm really <laughs> soothing. Oh, my God. As far as your, like, transition, you feel good, like, with where you've, like, where you are right now. And, like, I mean, there's so many. I'm surprised you're not on hormones because it seems like every, like, person's on. But I don't think it's necessary to do all of that to yeah. be a woman, you know? I think as long as, like, you're in the right headspace. Like, right now I'm thinking about, like, definitely going, like, the FFS route mm-hmm. or route. And definitely starting hormones eventually, and then like getting like my body done eventually. Like I'm BBL at a, era, yeah, BBL era. Period. Get ready with me to get a BBL. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, because I feel like LA just like changes you, like not in the way where like you just get here and back in Oregon, like nobody has a BBL, so like you're here and then everybody looks sickening. Yeah. So you're like, oh, like now I want to look sickening, but not in the way where like you're insecure, but it's like 
I'm free to explore to like do all that. Yeah, I think it's also and I think that's important, too, because a lot of like even me moving to L.A., I was like kind of overweight when I first moved here. And then I like remember walking through WeHo and seeing all like the go go dancers. and I was like, oh, I want to be like one of those boys one day with like ads Everybody's and everything. So hot. And I was like, I didn't I was like, I don't know if I could ever even get there. Like how, you know how. But then I like hired a personal trainer and started investing myself. And that's so normal in L.A. for people really? to like want well, to invest in themselves, you know, so I feel oh, like yeah. that's why it feels like. You know, it's not like you want to change yourself for insecurity, but it's like you that's a good a way to, to invest in yourself. That's a good way to explain it. So like you being like a trans woman in like Portland, Oregon, that area, you didn't necessarily have that much like bullying and backlash. But the Internet, I feel like I feel like a lot of times they say, you know, it gets better after high school and it does get better. But then when you graduate into social media, it's like you're just, you know, all through the ringer again. So like looking at your social media, you've got a lot of support on there, but I assume you must receive like some backlash like how does that feel like kind of getting bigger and starting to see those comments and read people's hate? <laughs> I mean, to be completely honest, I don't really get a lot of hate because I was yeah. a comedian first, so I didn't really get a lot of backlash. Um, Not like trans hate or like. I'm sure those comments are out there. things. Yeah, you just don't even like look for them. Like I like back in the day, like when my first year doing TikTok, I would reply to every single comment. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really get because I would do comedy and my sense of humor is so unhinged that even mm -hmm. the people were like, oh, that's a man. We're like, you know what? You're a man, but this is funny. Yeah. So the only time I ever got backlash was when um, I think I was like, do you know who Silly Georgie is? Mm -mm. You don't know who that is? He's like this. He's like another drama channel on kind of like Rich Lux. He's like on TikTok. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yep. He, have, he does kind of drag a little bit sometimes. Uh -huh. Whatever. Fuck that brick. I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, he made like a video talking about like, because um, I got on Nikita Dragon's Perilous when Dragon Beauty was a thing. Nikita, bring it back. Um, And he was like, how do you feel about TikTok's like biggest trends? Like. Um, people like supporting this brand and I was like I don't know I love Nikita do you like Nikita I like grew up in the same area as Nikita I've always been a fan of Nikita yeah we grew I, up in oh Virginia. she's from Virginia that's yeah. right mm -hmm. so I love Nikita and I said I love I commented I was like wait I love Nikita like what's going on and he made a whole video being like you're trash like you can't believe you support her and like just like and it, the video got like what like I don't know how many thousands of views and like people like went to like to like bully me They're like how's Nikita your BFF and I was like Girl. what is going on and then I lost like 4,000 followers from it. So like that's like the most like hate I've ever gotten, which yeah. is like for saying that you support another trans girl, which is so stupid. Yeah, I think that is. And I think there's like so much more depth to people than like certain aspects. And I don't know. I'm not like someone would think I'm like such a cancel culture king, but I'm really not like I'm actually rational thinking. Like, yeah, there's so many people out here who just like jump to conclusions. And like Nikita's clearly mentally ill. Like, where is she? She was in jail. And Where is he? Heard... I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> well, you know, you saw the last time I heard about her, she did the OnlyFans with the dick, like, mm -hmm. promotion. Which... She's, I feel like I just heard that she's, like, fine. And I can't remember where she, they said that she was. But she's, like, probably taking time to herself. Because I was actually just stalking her on Instagram yesterday. And I actually, I've never met her. Mm -hmm. But we used to follow each other on TikTok until she, like, was going through it and unfollowed everybody. I miss her. Like, I miss seeing her content because she's just so fierce. I know. And, like, her music, like, her, like, little music videos where she was her dancing pussy and stuff. Sons. Yeah, yeah, she, I also think she was, like, kind of influential in a way, too. Like, other people were, like, were inspired by her looks and, like, yeah, yeah I, I feel like she got, like, kind of broke that mold with the mainstream, too, because, like, she was so hot. That, yeah, like, she's definitely one of, like, the most famous, like, trans girls. Yeah, and she's, I, she's kind of had to some music, too, which I was, like. I, I was, I was, I remember because she had, like, the, her little show on Snapchat. I was yeah. excited for her music. Where's your Snapchat show? Girl, I would get canceled. I feel Where's like your I, management. What? Everyone should have a Snapchat show, though. Oh my god, something I feel like I have a Snapchat show. You do? Yeah. Oh my god. But it's not original content. Um, it's like it's purpose. powered by Snippies. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I have, I have never even been on that website, but I've got like friends who are professionals on there. Same. Do you have Do you have a lot of friends that do OnlyFans? Mm, I've got more like actually the most fans I have like the most friends I have that do OnlyFans are like trans girls. Oh, period. Yeah, like I don't really have a lot of like gay boyfriends who do like OnlyFans. Yeah. Interesting. And the guys I date are like usually like 10 years older than me and like have oh, real period. jobs. You really are a lot of Del Rey fan. I know, I really am. They're all old and like dying and have money. Oh, uh, yes. Especially the one taking me to Vegas. He has so much. Really? Yeah. Take me with you to Vegas. I want to go so bad. I like have never been. I'm so excited. I've though. never been either. I was supposed to go actually a couple weeks ago for my friend's birthday. But because there's this like, there's this like uh, hotel there that does like free things for influencers mm -hmm. and they give like everybody free like stay. Yeah. And I reached out and I was like, oh, like, can I stay? Like, I'm, I'm going to be here. Then they were like, no. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm not going to Vegas. <laughs> the Taco Bell Resort. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? No, it's I, what is it called? No, just kidding. It's like Virgin something like the, like the phone. Oh, thing. yeah. I think they have like their, which is fitting because I'm literally a virgin. Uh -huh. so. Are you actually? 
I've had such a busy schedule this year that Factor Meals has been a lifesaver. Factor is America's number one ready to eat meal kit and the best part is that they deliver straight to your door. This week I've been eating some of the best meals I've had in a long time. My favorite dish was the herb crusted chicken with mashed cauliflower and toasted almond green beans. Factor Meals are fresh and never frozen, which makes a big difference. Plus, they're ready in just two minutes and are delicious. You have the choice to select from over 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved meals with veggie, vegan, keto friendly, and many more options. They also have snacks and smoothies to try out as well. Lately, I've been obsessed with their strawberry and banana smoothie. Like their meals, their snacks and smoothies are fresh and conveniently shipped straight to you. Are fresh and conveniently shipped straight to you. If you have a fitness goal you are working towards, let Factor Meals help you along the way. Factors Calorie Smart Meals make it that much easier to live a healthy life. Each meal will be around or less than 550 calories per serving and they taste great. Head to factormeals.com slash sloan50 to use code sloan50 to get 50% off your first box. That's code sloan50 at factormeals.com slash sloan50 to get 50% off your first box. Casey Schoen was murdered in the middle of an August night shot point blank while idling his Dodge pickup truck in North Indianapolis. There was no physical evidence, no known motive, and no one coming forward with information. Except this one woman who swears to this day she saw Leon Detroit Benson pull the trigger. Leon Benson was sentenced to 60 years in prison, all because one person swore they saw something. But what if she was wrong, and we could prove it, from wondering and Campside Media comes season three of the podcast Suspect. This is a story of a botched police investigation, the dangers of shaky eyewitness testimony, and a community who feared law enforcement with good reason. Suspect, five shots in the dark, an investigative look into two victims, one murdered in cold blood, one imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. Enjoy Suspect, five shots in the dark on the Wondery app or wherever you get your podcasts. You can listen to Suspect early and ad-free on Wondery Plus. Join Wondery Plus in the Wondery app or on Apple Podcasts. Well, no. <laughs> Are you a virgin like, po- like, after transitioning like have you like fucked, like no I, I think i only ever like made out with one guy before i was trans but i feel like i didn't start hooking up until like after i fully came out so yeah because i was gonna ask you about dating like ha- say have you ever had a boyfriend no Mm-mm, not yet that's why I, well, that's why i told you if you have like a britney spears poster or even as much as i want to free her like no I is cannot. she not free already is she i don't know i think we kind well, of she's like, showing her pussy for free on instagram so <laughs> yeah like, girl, she's free boots well i think it might be ai'd at this point, like, a, you know, <laughs> all her stuff is fake on there. So Period. poor girl. We thought we freed her. We didn't. She's probably just like really traumatized by everything happening. So we need to give her another like moment to like go off and like be like feral. Do you like yeah. her music? I like her. Of course I like her yeah. music. Yeah, it makes me feel like hot and stuff. Even her old stuff. Like, don't go knocking on my door. I've never heard that song before. Uh, when I got cheated on, like, that was the moment. I was like, stop knocking so on my door. So every five months? Yeah, stop so knocking on my door. every five months you really like this. <laughs> Breaking into my window. <laughs> <laughs> taking my shit. Throwing away my second. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, um, <laughs> that actually happened like two days. I'm ago. like, now we're going to commercial break. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so dating, um, do you like and like? Okay, so like hooking up, you're not like on a grinder and any of those apps, right? Like you're not like not anymore. I used to be on it like the first couple years of my transition, but like obviously it's just like awful because people like use you for your body and for mm-hmm. being trans. And now I literally on the way here, I literally deleted Hinge because it's like the same thing. Like people like don't like you they don't like they almost like dehumanize you when they're like reaching out they're like oh like i've never been with a trans girl like it's yeah. always my fantasy like i was having such a good conversation with this guy the other day and then he was like oh you know what like i've actually never been with a trans girl before it's always been one of my fantasies and i was like oh so i went off on him and then once he understood <laughs> then i like blocked him yeah like he just wanted to check a box off yeah that's how my my friend tyler she's so like beautiful is that the one that you were with when i saw blonde. you she's so pretty gorgeous right gorgeous. And young girl like hot but she just struggles too with like the hinge guys that are just like, you know, like we can hang out at like 2 a.m. on like yeah. Friday night after I like, you know, like don't want to be 1 seen. In, yeah, no, I don't want to be like, seen in public with you. Like yeah. that type of shit, which is like, I think so tragic. But now that you're out here in LA, I, think, I thought it would like get better. Like we heard um, of Oregon. I feel like if anything, there's way more chasers. Like back there, there's like, like a handful. And mm. here, there's just, they're all scary. I don't know. 
So like if, but you like would like to be in a relationship, right? Like, I mean, ideally, aren't you like 25? Like, how old are yeah, you? I'm literally 25. How old are you? Uh, I've actually like never even said, but <laughs> if you Google it, I think it says I'm 24. Wait, so you never <laughs> like, said how old you are? No, but they okay. have it wrong on the internet. Add four, like, yeah. So, I mean, like, I'm not far off. Like, I'm just a couple years older. Than you. But, yeah, I, I've never, like, said it online. So, like, they... You guys, he just told me he's 40 years old. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, like, 45, a young 45. I've been getting Botox since I was 12. Oh. No, <laughs> actually, since I was 23, though, I've been, like, really trying to keep it tight. Oh, my God. There was this, like, fun week where I was addicted to what... What is that one, like, um, pill? Fuck, Xanax? Get, not, girl. Opioid? I'm not 40. Percocet? No, what's... It's when you get, like, hurt. It's, like, a pain medication. Percocet. A perk. Oxycodone. Yes, there was a time where like um I was I had like really bad like uh teeth pain because mm. I was getting my wisdom teeth taken out and my mom had oxy because she had, I don't know what she <laughs> fucking did to herself yeah and I was taking it and I really got addicted to that for a second mm. it was scary you weren't like buying it like on the street though, no no I only I think I took like just like the full pill bottle and I was like freaking out and then I was like yeah. okay, I need to stop she had two and liked it and then she said I was addicted <laughs> no I when I got my nose done they gave me so much of you that. your nose done mm -hmm. like it's gonna be like 10 years old this year oh it's so pretty I need to get my nose done so just let me look this way it's like really a great surgery and they gave me so much I don't even remember can you recovering. pick your nose Oh, yeah, I mean... I heard that you can't pick your nose out. It's still after. pretty big. Like, girl, I've only had one. Really? But no, I mean, my nose was huge before. It was like... Really? Yeah, I could, like, see it when I looked down. <laughs> also, like, I was super... <laughs> I was, you can't see it when you... Yeah, I can't see it anymore. But I was super bullied for it in high school. Like, really? that's when I hear when you weren't bullied, bitch. Like, how are you not bullied? Well, I used to be really... So the thing is, when they say when you peak in high school, it's over for you, that's not true. I used to be so popular in high school. Like, mm -hmm. I had my freshman and sophomore year where you're, like, not, you're disgusting. But being gay, like, being one of the few gay people in high school, I feel like it's a really... It's an advantage. Wow. So I'm glad that when I... Came out as trans, it was after high school because I probably would have been bullied then. They would have been like, fucking tranny. Yeah. But no, I used mine... to run that shit, boots. Yeah. The, the there used to be like boy. freshman girls that would bring me like cookies to class. Like I was. <laughs> they would never try you. Yeah. Nobody. Girl. I used to, I remember I used to call it like the, like the varsity like football players on like Twitter being like, you have a small dick. Like I used to be insane. <laughs> Aggressive. Yeah. So I'm glad I blew up on the internet now. Because if I blew up, like, back then, girl, that would have been so fucking messy. That's why I say sometimes, too. Like, I love that I've, like, oh, I mean, I went to college. I had a career in the government. I feel like I've lived in a whole the government? Other yeah, I worked at the Department of Defense for, like, three years. Did, like, data analysis. Yeah. Oh, period. How I'm was like that? A, I love statistics. Numbers, baby. I mean, this is a business, too. You got to run so a business. So, statistics, how many times have you had gonorrhea? In the last three months? Quickly. <laughs> no, in the last three months, none. But... I've had the shot in my butt before. Don't act in it. Well, I guess you haven't, bitch, because you're not hooking up with anyone. Period. Yeah. Well, you'll just get it from like sharing drinks out here in WeHo. Uh, <laughs> like, like the robot just breathing area. the same air. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. The Sean Cody gaze. Yeah. If you go to the the bay, what's that one bar? The Bayou. I've never even Bayou? been there. Yeah. Bay Bayou. It's not that bad. I think it's really cool. They have like cheap shots. Ooh, I've never been in there. What? It's actually really cool. You know what bar's scary? Gym bar. I love gym. Gym bar. It's that's cool. where I heard you buy drugs at if you need drugs. <laughs> well, why do you think bar. I love it there? <laughs> yeah, that's no, you're... High Tops is scary. It's always really? so packed, but I, it's my uh, favorite bar ever. I mean, so. that's where the guys that have salaries go. Like, that's Here. where I, yeah, I stay at High Tops. It's, it's one of my favorite bars, but it's so packed, like, you yeah. can't move there. No, those guys work nine to fives. That's what I need. <laughs> I, I'm tired of these creative people. I don't want to date anyone creative. I feel that. Would you want to date someone who's like a YouTuber influencer type or like. Could you imagine yourself doing that? Maybe. Just because they already get it and they know how it is and how the story goes. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you were to have like a breakup, it would be so public. Like, and they would tell their side of the story. Yeah. And I'm so bad with people telling their side of the story because my side of the story is right. <laughs> yeah. However delusional it is. But Well, I remember like I was at a party talking to, do you know Tara's World? Like that girl on TikTok? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does like. Yeah, the eyelashes yeah. and the dog walking or whatever. But she had like a super public like breakup too. And I was asking her about it. I was like, wow, like how did that go? Because... There's so many people invested, especially with your content. It's kind of mm. like somewhat personal, I guess, to a degree, right? Yeah. I mean, they're not seeing like what you're doing every single day, but they're like, yeah, pretty much. I don't much. do it. Once the cameras are off, it's me and my bed eating hot Cheetos. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. Well, my content's like so not about me. So when people like, I don't know, when I mention anything about my life, it's like, a, well, I made a video about like my ex cheating on me. And that was like definitely a moment. Did they, did, was, did they bring the engagement up? It got like 500k views. It got like more Period. views than my normal videos, but it did really well. Um, but I noticed, like, I don't know, I don't like really getting personal on social media. Like that kind of scares me, like dating a public figure. Because even after the breakup, I've been on like dates and I've had like like subscribers come up and be like, "I'm so sorry about your Coachella video," and blah blah. blah. <laughs> and I'm like sitting there with a guy, and he's like, 
so what do you do for work? Imagine they come up to you, they're like, is this one going to cheat on you too? What would <laughs> yeah, you do? Right? They're like, I was actually at the bar, um, like recently, like, I think it was like two weeks ago. And there was, um, this cute, like lesbian couple there. And they were like talking to me about like the cheating video. And I was like, oh, my ex is actually here at the same bar. So I was pointing at him. And one of the girls was like, kind of like macho, like type. And she was just like, glaring at him the entire time like I she's love gonna lesbians. go fight him i know me too they're, they're like the best they make like the best friends like they're they need Seriously. to have their renaissance like they're you know how like gay people gay friends are so popular now in like the media yeah they need to have the lesbian friends right and i i love like a good like butch lesbian too like it makes yeah. me feel safe like hang up the picture on my wall like please <laughs> um yeah actually i was like that same day i was like drugged that night and i was at WeHo pride and two less another separate lesbian couple like got me home yeah so shout out to lesbians. We love lesbians. We need a lesbian pride. Isn't it? So this is gay pride month, right? Where's lesbian pride? I think it's all pride. Pride month is just oh, pride month, right? Bisexual too. I think so. <laughs> Do you think bisexuality is a myth? <laughs> no, I feel like bisexual, they just have it so easy. I'm just like, oh. I can't remember. I was having a conversation with one of my friends and they're like, oh, you know, because bisexuality is a myth. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> we love bisexuals. No, of course. What are you? Are you just gay? We see you. We hear you. We're making space for you. I know I'm I'm gay. Just gay. Okay. Like I don't even want a woman to touch me. Like I don't like women touching. That's me. why you're so far away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> can we actually? Uh, that's go why you have. The room? That's why you have Mary blocked on Instagram. Huh? Yeah, no, yeah. I, the the boobs were just no. When they like, it's such a weird thing too. Because when I was like in high school, I used to go out with like my girlfriends and like we'd make out and like party and just be fun. Nowadays, like if a woman like gets close to me, starts touching me, dancing me, like I'm like, oh no, like please, <sighs> I need a man. Let's see, no, I'm really gay out here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a man. That's so funny. So, um, like, career-wise, what is, like, next for you? Are you, like, where Athena Beauty? Like, <laughs> what are the next plans? What do you see yourself doing? I really, I feel like the biggest things that I want to do this year is I want to start, because the, the, my original thing was I never wanted to do, I guess social media is fun, but I really wanted to do acting. Ooh. So that's why I was making skits when I first started. Um, so I really want to get into acting and start auditioning and start taking acting classes because I can do, I feel like my acting is very much like sitcom or like victorious, Uh the show. With a laugh track in the back. Yeah, literally. I used to edit in fucking, (laughs) I I hate myself, but, um, definitely acting. And then I want to do a collab with like a makeup brand because I don't think I could release my own makeup brand. That's a lot. Yeah. No, cute. Like a lunar, lunar beauty. I ask him all the time. I literally hold, like every time I see him, I like. It's like hold my nails up to his like background. Like, where the fuck is the collab? Where is the, the yeah. Athena collab? I want to do a collab with him. I feel like that would be fierce. Just because I feel like his brand is so. What's the word? What are they? What are they? How do you say that? Um, word? What's it called when there's something like. Uh, when it, it should be fierce, but it's not fierce enough. What's What's, what's like a small. What's it called when it's like a, a, a what brand? Indie like brand? An indie. It's an indie brand still. I feel like he's obviously it's doing really, really well. Well, yeah, but no, it's great. I feel like even though it's one of those brands like where Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, it's like really good but nobody's talking about it is and Jacqueline really good oh my god it's so good um my friend actually like when I was living in Florida she was like so obsessed with um like Jacqueline Hill we would like drive by her house in Florida I've you never like driven outside by of Jacqueline house. house yeah Jacqueline. I mean I lived like 15 minutes away so it wasn't that big of a drive but. oh my god you could like hear her like screaming outside of her window yeah fighting with her husband or something <laughs> <laughs> screaming at her dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. even know if she's married. Like, who knows? She just got married, I feel like, recently. Oh, she did. Well, hopefully yeah. they're happy. Yeah, no, they are. Her boyfriend is so cute. Her husband. Her, whatever the fuck he is. <laughs> yeah. Her husband is so cute. But definitely a makeup collab, acting, and then I'm in the works with creating my own podcast. Just because yeah. I feel like I'm such a people person. Mm-hmm. I feel like I come alive when I'm talking to people. Me too. I was like falling asleep before you got here. I was like, oh, I need the camera on, girl. As soon as the camera comes on, I'm just like, I'm ready. She's alive. Yeah, like one day I just want to have like my own show or something. Like I can see like, that. I feel like you're a really good like talk show person. I could see that. Like yeah. having your own podcast. Like a Wendy Williams, Andy Cohen vibe. Like if you if you're older, Wendy enough, you know, Williams. Like this, when you, yeah. You're gonna pot, you're but gonna pass the, that on your own podcast. I would love to. <laughs> Imagine honestly. you're just like <laughs> I am a fainter. Like you do really? the yeah, the right thing happens. I'm gonna faint. Yeah. Period. So um, I would love to like do or you know the soup like Joel McHale back in the day. If you're like, are you old enough? Oh, God, Ooh. you aren't. The Joel McHale is exposed soup, his real age on the E. I know, right? I'm actually like 38, still no health care. <laughs> <laughs> so um. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on to the podcast. I'm really excited to see what happens with your career. And I feel like you've got like you saying acting like, oh, totally makes sense because Mm -hmm. you've got like a very distinct like personality and character like that. I feel like if you were to get on like a sitcom or something one day, like there was no doubt like that's like, you know, fucking Athena and like you would like kill that character. So I hope that happens for you. Get some good management. 
Well, thank you so much, Athena, for coming on. If you guys want to go and subscribe to her OnlyFans, everything is listed below. <laughs> no, what type of content fans. are they gonna have? Is it like? <laughs> is it all like? It's just gang bang. It's just me. <laughs> it's me with Mary. We're collaborating. Oh wow! I'm the one, I'm I'm the reason why she popped. Yeah, I think she, she's gonna transfer some to you and just like give yeah, you like. I'm gonna get pumps. Yeah, the unit. Oh wow! Well, I, I've got the contact. I know all the dolls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we all know. She'll come to you. Period. She'll come no, to you I'm okay. Papers. I don't want to die. Yeah, no. Well, you know, Drake said, make the whole room uncomfortable. So that's what we're going off of. Period. That's exactly what we're going for. I think that's exactly what we did here. So. Wait, Drake, if you're watching this, hit me up. I think so. I mean, he's got, he has, he has like yellow nails now. So like. My nails are yellow from the self-tanning. I mean, he's more gay than me. Oh, yeah. Or, is it, or the smoking cigarettes, sir. Oh, nope. <laughs> The years of uh, nicotine. <laughs> I right, will thank you, Athena, for coming on. All of her socials are listed below, and I'll see you guys in next week's episode. Bye, guys. <laughs>